I'm Melissa, the founder of ProudDogMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. I've got my little Chihuahua Diego and my girl Gigi over here is gonna take a nap as we chat. But as you can see from the title of this video today, we are talking all about products for the dog parent. So it actually started a couple of months ago when I wrote an article for my blog and it was titled 10 products I use every day as a dog parent. So I figured why not make a video and show you guys these products in action and just talk about why I love them so much, and I think you might too. So just to let you guys know, none of the brands that I'm talking about today have sponsored this video. I truly use these products either every day or at least on a regular basis, and I just love them a whole lot. So I wanna share them with you. And also I've included links down below in case you like any of these products and wanna check them out yourself. The first product that I'm gonna talk about today is Canonine, which is an organic hemp oil with CBD. So if you have not jumped onto the CBD train yet, I definitely recommend that you board that train because I love this stuff and it has totally transformed Diego's life. I know that sounds dramatic, but it's absolutely true. So I actually started looking into CBD a bit more about a year ago when my vet had diagnosed Diego with the early stages of arthritis. His back was hurting, you could definitely tell he was walking different, he wasn't playing as much as he used to, and she had recommended that I put him on a painkiller every single day. And I wanted to see if I could do a more natural route first, so I started looking more into uh, hemp oil and CBD oils, and that's when I found this one. Within a matter of just two weeks, I started noticing a huge difference in Diego, the way that he walked and the way that he played, and then after four weeks of being on Canonine, it was just a world of a difference. Canonine and CBD oil for dogs in general, it's great for joint pain relief, it's great for anxiety relief, and there's a whole lot of other benefits which I outline right on my website in order to keep this just a little bit shorter. If you wanna learn more about CBD, you can check it out there. This brand, I definitely trust. It's the iHeart Dogs brand, and they have their certificate of analysis right on their website which shows that there are no heavy metals or toxins or any of that you know bad stuff in it. All also, there's absolutely zero THC in it, so if you are wondering, no, it does not make your dog high, it just gives some therapeutic benefits that are great for dogs. The next product is super important for your dog's dental health, which is also very important for their overall health, and it is dog toothpaste and dog tooth brushes. So oral care is actually really important for your dogs. If they have a buildup of plaque and bacteria, all of those germs and bacteria could actually go up into their gum line and into their bloodstream, which can affect their heart, their liver, and just other organs. It's really important that you take care of your dog's teeth. So you wanna get yourself a doggy toothpaste, not a human toothpaste. You wanna make sure you get one that's specifically made for dogs. This one is definitely one of the most popular brands that's out there and I have it in a poultry flavor. And then these toothbrushes, they are great for the little dogs. So if you have little dogs, check these out. It is my Shark Ion Robot vacuum. I just wanna take a moment to hug this thing. This is my absolute favorite product and I use it not only every day, but oftentimes twice a day because I run her downstairs to clean all of my hardwoods and my carpets or my throw rugs. And then she charges herself up. She just basically goes, cleans the floors. She self docks herself, charges herself. And then I bring her upstairs and she does all of my carpets. Diego is a huge shedder and if you look at, um, let's see actually if she has anything. Oh, she does. Okay. I mean, you can absolutely see all of my hair and the dog's hair and just the extra just dirt and things that were brought in from outside and um, well, you know what vacuums pick up. But anyway, this just does an absolutely amazing job. There are other robot vacuums on the market. I can vouch for this one because I've had it for a year and a half and it is just, it's just my absolute favorite. Speaking of keeping a clean house, the next product on this list is my black light. Okay, this is another one that I get really excited about because I don't think a lot of people or dog parents think about keeping a black light in their house. But actually, if you have dogs in your home, I absolutely recommend that you have a black light. Of course, if you have a puppy that you're training, yes, it's very obvious why a black light would come in handy. They're making little, 
you know, PP accidents maybe. I know we don't like to talk about it, but hey, it happens. It's part of having dogs in the house and being able to turn on your black light and look at your carpet and see that urine spot completely light up helps you be able to know where to clean so that way you can keep your house clean. Because if the dogs keep smelling the urine spots that haven't been cleaned up, well, guess what? They're gonna go over there, they're gonna smell it, they're gonna say, ooh, I wanna pee on that. And then they're gonna pee on it again. And that's gonna keep happening and happening and happening and then you're gonna have a smelly house and no one wants their house to smell like urine, right? I think so. So even if you have trained dogs though, and I will say my dogs, thankfully, we have gotten past that stage. We are no longer in the potty training stage, which I hope so because he's seven and the other one is four. But um, it, it's still great. I still use this, not every day, but I do try to go through once a week, maybe twice a month even. I mean, I don't have to do it as regularly, but I do still use this on what I would consider a quote regular basis. I just moved into this house about a year and a half ago, which means all of the furniture in here is pretty much new. I am a huge fan of light couches, as you can see, if you can see these arms. It's like a platinum gray, platinum silver gray. I also really love light tan couches. I just love light couches. Which if you have dogs, you know that sometimes they don't go so well with a dog family. So that is where the couch protector comes in handy. I had this at my last place, so this is probably about two years old. If you don't want to invest in an actual couch protector, you can grab yourself a nice blanket that you like, like a throw blanket, and just throw it over your couch. If you're someone who likes to have your dogs on your couch, like I do right here, they really, really come in handy. Sometimes we forget to go with and we should never go without. They are waste bags. So when we are on walks, no one, absolutely no one likes to run into a pile of you know what. And we can all prevent that from loading up on waste bags. Actually, I got an entire, it was a huge box. It has 900 bags from Chewy. And it came with two dispensers and then rolls that have 900 bags. I'm still working on mine and we're about a year in. So they are not that much money. And for the very small investment, we can have a nice clean area to walk. And all we have to do is just pick it up. So come on people, waste bags, pick it up. So this is another common product that you probably already have, but I feel like it's worth mentioning anyway, leashes, but not just a leash, a good quality leash. So sometimes we go into the store and we see these really adorable leashes, but maybe they're not the best quality or, and I don't mean to get into this debate, but I'm not a huge fan of retractable leashes because I have been burned by them and they've also snapped on me. So if you love your retractable leash and it works for you, that's great. But I definitely recommend that you also have a backup really sturdy leash. So I love the rope leashes. I just think, first of all, they look great, but also number two, that is not breaking. It's not going anywhere. And then I also love, again, this video is not sponsored by this brand, but I'm, I've recently become obsessed with Spark Paws. They have a bunch of different dog goodies. They've got jackets, they've got harnesses, they've got collars, leashes. I mean, just a whole bunch of fun stuff. And I really like their leashes. My big message here is just the leash that you have, make sure you have a good quality leash. Mental stimulation is just as important as physical stimulation and that's where dog toys and interactive toys and puzzles come in handy. So I actually did an entire YouTube video on my favorite dog puzzles, but I'm gonna show you some right now. Uh, the Kong Gyro is a very easy one for your dogs to figure out. All you do is stuff some treats in here, you put it on the ground, they either paw at it or they will use their snout to move it and then the treats fall out and they get it. So this one's really fun. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a challenge, one of my absolute favorites, I love the Nina Otteson puzzles and the dog brick is, I think it's actually one of the most popular, but it's it's really great. So it's a level two, so it's an intermediate one, and they have little compartments that you stuff treats in and your dog has to either use uh, his or her paw 
or a snout to lift up little pieces or actually to like take pieces off or to swivel little pieces over. It's just, they are great. Another one of my favorites is the dog hide and slide. They have amazing, uh, amazing options out there. I actually have, if you haven't checked it out yet, I have an entire storefront on Amazon and I have a whole section on my storefront that's dedicated to dog toys and interactive puzzles, which I will link below because there are just so many options for you. And it's great to have a whole bunch of them because once your dog gets used to one, it's great to keep different challenges, so different types and, and just different puzzles, they're great. I don't use my exercise pen for my dogs quite as much as I used to when they were puppies, but if you have a puppy or you have a yard that isn't fenced and you have a smaller dog that just, you know, you would like some space for them to be able to run around without a leash, an exercise pen is absolutely amazing. Another thing in addition to an exercise pen that's very similar is a they just call it like a pet pen and it's also they have indoor or outdoor i've talked about the carlson pet products pet pen a lot of times i even have a video right here on my youtube channel about that which i will link down below so if you just want some extra space for your dog to be able to run around or you know a young puppy that you're in the middle of training maybe you need to go cook dinner or you're doing some work you don't really have 100 percent attention on that dog but you don't want him or her in the crate you can always put them in the exercise pen and it's kind of a confined space for them to be able to safely play and uh and enjoy their day we have made it to number 10 and this list of course is not complete without my dog treat cookbook, which is called Proud Dog Chef Tail Wagon Good Treat Recipes. This recipe book has 60 recipes, which are gluten-free, grain-free, and all dog approved. We've got a whole bunch of different chapters. We've got uh, biscuits, crunchy biscuits. We've got soft chews. There is a whole entire chapter for jerkies, chips, and chews. We've got pup cakes, which is the canine version of a cupcake. There's also a chapter on popsicles, which is frozen snacks, um, there's holiday treats, icings, there's just a whole bunch of different snack options in here. I mean, between 60 different snacks, it's a whole bunch of different options for your dog. We've also got some great resources in here. For example, there is an entire chapter on the human foods that are good or not good for your dog, and I make sure to give an explanation for why each one is either beneficial or harmful for your pooch because I do feel like the explanations are very important. Oftentimes we see lists, but they don't have explanations along with them. So you can learn why something's good or why something's maybe not good for your dog. Also throughout the chapters, we have something that I call quick tips. So for example, I talk about why turmeric is so beneficial or why I don't use bouillon cubes in my dog treats or why I don't use um, baby food in my dog treats. I've got another quick tip in here all about coconut oil and how to pick out the, the healthiest, best bottle when you're shopping at the grocery store. So there's definitely a ton of resources in this book. It is sold anywhere online books are sold. Amazon and Barnes and Noble are obviously the biggest ones and I hope that you guys like it. So those are the 10 products that I use either daily or at least regularly in my home and I think that you will love them too. If you like these products, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and before you leave, if you liked this video and you want to see more, you can always subscribe to my channel. That is an option. It's that little red button down at the bottom that says subscribe. And while you're at it, just hit the little bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video.